When measuring the volume of a regularly shaped object, such as a block of wood, you may simply measure the length, multiply by the width, and multiply by the height. So we're using the mathematical equation, volume is equal to length times width times height. And the units will be measured in centimeters for a final unit of a cubic centimeter. First we measure the object's length and we find the length to have the measurement of 10.7 centimeters. Next measure the object's width and we find the width of the object to be 4.5 centimeters. And finally, we measure the height of the object, and we find the height to be 4.4 centimeters. When we multiply the length times width times height, the final answer obtained is 211.9 cubic centimeters. And this is how you measure the volume of a regularly shaped object. When calculating or trying to find the volume of an irregularly shaped object, such as a sphere, like a marble, a rock, a piece of aluminum, you can use what's known as water displacement. Simply pour a set amount of water into a graduated cylinder, and it doesn't matter what amount that you um, aim for, we're going to say 70 milliliters. But when you read the graduated cylinder, be sure to read eye level from the meniscus. So 70 milliliters of water is placed into a graduated cylinder. Next, drop your object into the cylinder and see how far up the water goes. And when we read this at eye level, we notice that it goes up to 77 milliliters. So it actually went from 70 milliliters to 77. So we put 77 as our final volume minus 70 milliliters and we get 7 milliliters as the volume of our irregularly shaped object, again which was our marble. There's an old classic poster in uh, science labs that reads, Carol never wore her safety goggles, now she doesn't need them. And this is very true when it comes to eye safety. There's a classic demo using an egg to simulate the white of the eye. Our eye is mostly made up of protein, just like this egg is mostly made up of protein. And if you were to get, let's just say, sulfuric acid or any kind of strong acid or strong base in your eye, it can do irreparable damage, permanent damage to your vision. Uh, could blind you ultimately. So you want to make sure to always wear goggles when doing any kind of lab involving chemicals, heat, or glassware. It's important to wear your goggles and apron. Let's see what happens to the white of the egg when we add sulfuric acid. And if I add a few drops over here where right now it's transparent, Let's just see how that changes. Can you see the effect the acid had just right there? And it was almost instantaneous. One more time. Watch as the egg changes right in that spot, right there. Imagine if that were your eye. That's not something that you would enjoy an experience that you'd want to have happen to, to you. So it's very important that you wear goggles at all times. Again, anytime you use glassware, chemicals, or heat, you must put on your goggles and keep them on at all times. Hopefully this little egg demo will help you to remember why it's important to wear your goggles.